Welcome everyone, I'm Brian, this is Above Board. Thank you for joining me for this first episode. This channel is about all things board gaming, and I aim to bring you news, overviews, discussions about tabletop gaming, and gameplay videos. Just to let you know, unless otherwise stated, everything you see featured on Above Board is something that I have bought and paid for myself, so you can be assured that any impressions or opinions I give are from the perspective of a paying customer, just as I'm sure most of you watching will be. Today we're going to take a look at the 6x4 folding table and the Grasslands playmat by Urban Mats. Why start with a gaming table, I hear you ask? Great question, hypothetical person I just made up. This channel is starting from the ground up, so I figured what better way to begin than with the gaming surface itself. Let's take a look. So, here's a table folded and ready to unpack, or to transport to a gaming event. It has these two rubberized handles which are flexible and comfortable to hold and have no trouble supporting the 10 kilogram or 28 pound weight. So while it's not the sort of thing you want to lug about all day, getting it into and out of a car or moving it from one room to another shouldn't be too much trouble for most people. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. The table is constructed from lightweight aluminium and MDF, so it's fairly durable and the occasional coffee spill won't bother it. But if you're the sort of person that spills drinks willy-nilly around a board game, then you monster, how do you sleep at night? The upper legs unfold and lock into place, while the lower legs unclip from beneath the table and then simply snap into the upper legs, resulting in an overall height for the table of about 79 centimeters, or about 2 feet 6 inches. So here it is, all assembled and ready to go. And I flipped it over without any help from my wife at all. And while it does have these slightly raised aluminium borders around each section, they're not obtrusive and I haven't found that they interfere with any of the games that I play. And later, as you'll see, once the game mat is in place, or if you use a tablecloth or something similar, they're going to become even less noticeable. Now, overall, you end up with a full 6x4 foot or 185cm by 122cm playing surface. The only thing I'd be mindful of with this table is that it is intended for board games and miniatures gaming. So don't go sitting on it expecting it to take your weight, where you could find yourself the centerpiece of your next gaming session. Additionally, there are these small latches on the side, which if you're not mindful of them, could catch clothing, or a finger, or a hip. So where's the hips? As you can see, once the six legs are in place, they provide a fairly stable playing surface. There is some minor movement if you seek it out, but overall, I'm confident enough in this table that it's actually replacing the old dining table I used to use as my gaming surface. And this table's size and portability more than make up for any minor instability, at least for me. So that's the table. Now we're going to take a look at the Grasslands playmat, also by Urban Mats. Urban Mats makes a range of playmats and 3D terrain suitable to most types of tabletop gaming. The mats themselves are made from a mixture of mouse pad material, rubber and neoprene, resulting in a durable, waterproof and high quality play surface. So here it is. As you can see, the dimensions perfectly fit the size of the table. Now there are other sizes available on Urban Mats website, and they have a large range of designs from roads and deserts to wasteland, starfields and snow. Now, I personally chose the Grasslands playmat, not just because it's gorgeous to look at, but because I think it makes a great thematic backdrop to a wide range of games. While obviously most suited to war games and miniatures gaming, the mat itself makes a great surface for role-playing games as well, allowing you to add your own components and terrain to suit the situation. Also, now that the mat is in place, those metal frames around each section of the table are no longer noticeable. Plus, the rubberized surface now turned what was previously a noisy table into a surface that's a lot more dice-friendly. Each of the playmats comes with its own carry bag and name tag, so you can easily identify which mat is inside, and these come in the respective sizes of whichever mat you choose. So this has been my overview of the Grasslands playmat and the 6x4 folding table by Urban Mats. I want to thank Martin from Urban Mats for allowing me to feature these on the channel, and for the amazing customer service he provided in helping me get these shipped to New Zealand. I've put a link in the description below to the products featured here today, so please take a look. If you found this video useful, or if you've enjoyed the content, I invite you to please like and subscribe and spread the word. Together with your views and support, I look forward to growing this channel into something we, the gaming community, can be proud of. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at Zombicide Green Horde, the latest in the Zombicide series by Cool Mini or Not. 
So I hope you'll join us then. And until then, I'm Brian. You've been watching Above Board. Thank you, and happy gaming.